Okay, let's start with this. So on the left hand side, we see a test number four scale tonality custom scale 16 of Vocaloid, which has the root and a neutral, a minor mode, a major mode, and three none notes. On the right hand side, we see Vocaloid 1, which is composed using that tonality, and it sounds like this. So let your alter egos. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 17, Raga Research Meta Do. In this episode, we entered by reflecting that what seemed obvious to us in our 3D in music exhibit, such as the theory between the color human chromoperception, the cross-dimensional thinking between combining uh, vision, sound, and concept. To us, they're kind of where we came from, but what people perceive when they look at the exhibit is entirely up to them. And sometimes when we give a tour, we can kind of highlight and overlap what we see and what they see. Um, with the fourth Vocaloid scale that you just heard an example of, um, they blend very nicely, even taking minor and the major reflection because there are no urge notes. There's no clashiness. And then finally, um, we're just getting into a uh, tour of the dance company that we did work on a couple streams ago and working on a joint paper. And we had this realization that composing a joint paper, co-authoring a paper is like performing a dance shoot. You have different leads and different roles and they have to intermingle. So the key things that we accomplished in this series, we, we took the seven note scale that we've been working with all along, the seven note scale that we've been working with all along, which is this one. It is this one. There you go. So, uh, and depending on where you start, you can start on C and call that the root. You can start on G. You can call that the root. That's the new thing we did. You can start on A flat and call that the root. So, uh, and when we do that, um, we can break these seven notes into a pentatonic minor and a pentatonic major, a five note minor, five note major. And then they always add up to seven notes. And then also we had an aha that this, would fit into the traditional Western Do Re Mi scale because there's no D flat and no G flat, which we've mentioned before. So we wanted to compose using mo even more, even more things using that seven note scale. And that, uh, the newest thing we came up with is, the next to the newest thing is this, what we're calling a Do, Do one. So. we kept singing uh, this in our head. And the reason we kept singing it in our head was that the Borderland Shift Suite, which we had composed earlier and featured in our 3D uh, music exhibit, had a horn theme like this. And then we kept hearing it and wanting to make it stand out on its own. So we're gonna play that for you. And by the way, um, we did continue publicity on our exhibit, and it did get listed in the official destination guide for the exposition, and it was number six uh, on the top ten in in order. Now, however they determine that order, we're not sure, but there are 87 exhibits in all, and in the listing, we showed up as number six out of 87. So we're tickled by that, three days in a row and counting. So. And in addition to that, as we had said earlier, we gave several one-to-one -one tours of the exhibit and we plan to make a video of it and do more to publicize it. But it was very nice to, to receive that acknowledgement. So this on the left was part of the exhibit and the horn theme pulled by itself sounds like this.
So we have created this new version of it that we just started working with today. And we like several things about this. We like how it goes from a 4-4 time here to a 3-ish time. Dun, da, 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 and goes back to 4. So that's kind of our newest thing we're working with on the 7-note scale. The other thing that we gave you a little hint of at the teaser preview here is um, using that, what we're calling custom scale 16, we came up with these figures. And the cool thing is the upper motifs are, uh, well, wherever there's a minor motif, we reflected it into a major motif. And wherever we had a major motif, we reflected it into the minor. And when we play them simultaneously, we get dyads that do not clash. So we went ahead and put that in our Ableton and put the Vocaloid timbre on it. So we're going to play and bring us home. This is the Vocaloid timbre version. The Vocaloid timbre version of... So let your old So that concludes today's stream. What we like about the Vocaloid 1 and seeing this uh, visualization of it is it's really pretty to see these uh, perfect reflected parts at the first and the last part, but it's also kind of cool to see these things in the middle where they don't look so uh, perfectly, perfectly perfect. They have kind of funky little shapes. And uh, we also altered, we syncopated there in the middle. So again, uh, cross-dimensional thinking for us is combining, well, in this case, composing in music and vision, vision and sound. So our ideas for next time are two. Uh, we're going to keep composing with the seven note scale. We have some ideas there. Um, the music exhibit goes through July 5th, so there's another week and a half. And our good old friend, To Be Determined, shout outs to Trix XOXO, who stopped by. Mr. Spatz, we see Mr. Spatz a couple times a month. Methodic Innovator and Miss Cleo, keeping us inspired. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.